Hey guys, Nolan from Joe's here. Uh, today I'm up in the Duluth area. Uh, I'm currently chasing some largemouth bass. I'll just kind of walk you guys through it and show you guys what I'm doing and how I get it done. All right guys, some of the rods I'm using. Um, right here, this is the Elliott Evolution Series 42 Noodle. Um, this is probably my favorite rod over 40 inches and I'll tell you why. Um, it is a glass blank, so it's more of a sight fisherman's rod, but that orange tip on there, I don't know if you can see it. There it is, that orange tip picks up really well in the snow. Um, and if you do shine a UV light at night, it also lights up really bright. That's kind of the cool thing. Crappie fishing, you know, crappies tend to do that upbite. And when you have your jig sitting, your rod kind of loads down. If crappie were to upbite, you'd see that spring up. That's why I really like this rod. Um, it's a little long for inside for some people, but I've grown to not mind it. You know, it's just me here and you today inside my outer lodge. So I got plenty of space to myself and plenty of space to keep this rod around. So as far as my bait goes, I've just got a long shank tungsten jig. On the end of it, I have one of my custom molded little fork tail plastics. It's just a 1.5 inch fluke in white. Um, and I think that's gonna be the ticket of the day. If this doesn't work, I have a Paragon from Elliott, which is a 32 light solid carbon blank. Um, and on that, I have a tungsten jig with a wax worm. And that is a short shank hook. So the smallest size hook the clam makes actually. I forget the name, but it's the smallest one they make in gold. Both these jigs are in gold. All right, we'll take you outside the house and get that finicky fooler set up. Hey guys, what's going on? Nolan from Joe's here. Today I'm talking about the finicky fluid tip up. Um, finicky fluid tip up, you can get two things. This is just the regular old tip up right here. Um, this tip up right here, um, you can put a rod and reel in it and fight the fish on the rod and reel. Folds down nice, collapses into itself. I'll show you how to set it up. Take that leg out, stick it right in the slot in that right corner. Take your rod holder out as well put that right in this holder um, then you can set your tip up down you know put it maybe 12 13 inches away from the hole right on this side it's going to have a little insert it locks into for storage but you pop that out there you go and then you grab whatever rod you want of choice for me i'm using a 2b dead stick that is a 32 medium light perfect for small walleye bass that sort of thing um, i have six pound straight floor around here it is a pretty windy day and there's a lot of powder on the ice so i'm gonna put my whole cover in um, just to kind of keep that extra snow out of the hole. I'll do that right now too. And then when I put that hole cover in, I like to just grab some slush, you know, pack down the sides, that freezes up. That way no wind is locking that guy away. Um, and then I just have one split shot about eight inches up on that setup as well. Um, for my bait of choice, I'm just gonna use a fat head with it. holder. Once that's all done, you can open up your bale, take your line, all you got to do is tuck it right under that leather, grab your flag, put it on that little appendage hanging off, and you're all set. Just put the lid of your hole cover on if you have your hole cover. No snow's getting in there, fish bites, flag pops up, and you're good to go. Um, if you're interested in buying a finicky fooler or want to check one out, go to Joe's Sporting Goods in Little Cat, Minnesota. We got a great selection of the hook setters and the non hook setters like this one. Guys, we got one on. He's running right now too. So let's see what we got. There we go. Let's see what we got on there. But we'll see. Barely moving. Barely fighting. I don't know if I put the weir or let's see if we can get him up.
No sign of him yet. See a stack of weeds with him. No! He just jumped out of the hole. He's not hooked. He just jumped out of the hole. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Did you just see that? Oh my goodness. Well, there you have it, guys. One little snake just projectiled out of the hole on me. <laughs> All right, see you, buddy. I might be my ghost. I might be my ghost. But I ain't lifeless. But I ain't lifeless I might be my ghost I might be my ghost But I ain't lifeless But I ain't lifeless <laughs>